Genocide denial and negation as well as genocidal ideologies were among the issues that were extensively discussed at the meeting between the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Rwandan community abroad. According to Sandrine Wimbawazi, the director of the Rwanda Community Abroad Unit at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Rwandans living abroad are often bombarded by false news about the country on social media platforms. Other uh, general challenges they have is um, about how uh, Rwanda Community Abroad is fighting uh, uh, against uh, genocide ideology. People who still uh, talk about false news. People who are still talking about uh, making up a, a false story of our country. So we know the whole the story. On social medias, uh, Rwanda Community Abroad, they follow, but how can they follow the right uh, news? How can they um, know what's going on in their country? Julien Umuhoza, who heads the Rwandan diaspora in Canada, says that many Rwandans living abroad have not visited the country in a long time and some of them pass the wrong information down to their children. The cause of this challenge will be uh, uh, about people who left the country for a long time ago. And those people have kids their children. They, some of them, they never visit the country. They don't know the development that Rwanda has, uh, has uh, since they left the country. So those, those children, most of them, they don't have information. And uh, they, they, their families are, are feeding them the information, the, uh, the negative information, the negative side of uh, Rwanda, uh, which can be a uh, 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 main cause of this uh, genocide denial. Mrs. Umohosa says that different activities are on the way to help deal with this challenge. As leaders, um, we have a uh, uh, different way of uh, working on this issue. Uh, some, some people have the initiative to start uh, building centers for healing for those people who have who have been in that situation like uh, they have a, a post-trauma uh, disorder from the genocide and uh, we have uh, some people who are planning to build memorial uh, those those activities those those things that we are doing that tangible thing i think they may be um, uh, a good way of dealing with this issue. At the same time, the Rwandan Community Abroad has been encouraged to scale up their investments in the country. According to the Senior Investment Promotion Officer at the Rwanda Development Board, investments from Rwandans living abroad are not yet at the desired level. <laughs> Foreign investments in Rwanda have been increasing, with the country recording $1.7 billion in 2017 and over $2 billion last year. However, investments from the Rwandan diaspora are still very low, and we are wondering why this is so. We know the remittances are high, with many of you sending money to your families and other different activities, but investments are low. I'd like to encourage you to ensure that at least 50% of the money you send to the country goes to investments. Figures from the central bank show that during the 2016-2017 fiscal year, remittances from the Rwandan community abroad amounted to 181.9 million US dollars, up from 155.4 million during the 2015-2016 fiscal year. This report was compiled by Fatima Tessi and read to you by Sarah Shinhole for Rwanda Television News.